Jenny, it's hard to put in words what you mean to me. You are the love of my life and what a tremendous ride it has been. I want to thank God for bringing us together and being our foundation. I can't believe how much we uh, have already changed in these three short years I've known you. It feels like I've known you for so much longer as if we dated inside a hyperbolic time chamber. I've learned that you are truly an amazing, lovable person. What I love most is seeing all the little things that give you joy and hearing your uncontrollable laughter, like the time after you pushed me off the bed to save yourself, when you accidentally need me while playing Just Dance. I can't take my eyes off of you when you do those silly K-pop dances that you somehow memorize. <laughs> Daniel, from the first time I met you, I knew you were special. Not because all your friends kept hyping you up, telling me how smart, athletic, funny you are, but because you're one of the most genuine, joyful, and warmest people I have ever met. Conversely, I feel like this is extremely rare on a first date to have someone beat you so relentlessly in a game of cards. Usually, you may want to let your date win first, but at least once or twice, but no, you are ruthless. Although I didn't feel it at the time, I began to see this as a good sign, that you would continue to push me to grow, to challenge me, so that I can be the best person I could possibly be. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. Go, go, go! Look at you! I love it. <laughs> Our amazing God, we're gathered here to witness and celebrate the pledge that Daniel and Jenny are going to make one to another. We celebrate and acknowledge your presence and desire that you be honored in this place and given glory. We look forward to this wonderful day of celebration and joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome everyone, friends and family and loved ones. We're assembled here in the presence of God. And we're here in the presence of God to join Daniel Eng and Jenny Ka in holy marriage. Marriage was instituted by God as something that of an illustration of a loyal commitment that we're supposed to make one to another despite all the circumstances. Let's remember that God sanctified this marriage and established it for the benefit and the blessing for one another while we walk this earth as you face each other to exchange these sacred vows of marriage. May have the vows and the rings. So here are my vows to you. I vow to love you and cherish you for the rest of our lives. Even when it's hard, even when we want to give up, I won't. I vow to grow old with you, to take care of you, to love those around you, to push you to be your best self, and to always come back to you. I vow to lead, or sorry, I vow to follow when you lead, <laughs> and to bring you back on the right path if you lose your way. I vow to get better at ping pong so we can be unstoppable doubles partners together. And I also vow to understand and help research fantasy basketball stats so you could win. <laughs> you are my favorite person, and I intend to show you the love that God has for you as your wife. With your scars and bruises from past relationships, I, I can't help but marvel at how strong of a person you are and how your heart still pours out to others, like to my family and friends. We both know my niece Abigail loves you the most. You are the most precious friend and partner, and I vow to never stop putting forth the effort to learn about you as we continue to change together. I vow to continue our adventures create new family traditions. I vow to laugh and cry with you 
to sing and dance with you, and to eat all your tasty lunches, but also cook for you. <laughs> I know you are my forever one, and I'm sure one day my vision of us at Prospect, Oregon, of us growing old and returning to that cabin will come true. For as much as Daniel and Jenny have consented in holy marriage, they witnessed the same before God in this company and pledged their faithfulness to one another by the giving and receiving of rings, by the authority invested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. To Mr. and Mrs. Daniel and Jenny Ng, you guys can go. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> In the night I lie and look up at you When the morning comes I watch you rise there's a paradise that couldn't capture That bright infinity inside your eyes I wake up in the morning I don't know if you're a Never ending forever, baby to see how much Daniel has grown because of Jenny. The type of man he has become because of Jenny. And him being able to enjoy new experiences in life because of Jenny. Things that I would not be able to show him. If you know what I mean. Jenny and Dan, I am beyond excited for the next chapter of your lives because if there's a love story that will ever be Jenny's and mine, it's definitely yours. Cheers to the Angs. Cheers. Because of my height though, I'm always mistaken as the younger sibling between us two. It's mildly infuriating, but now that she's found Dan, I'm glad there's someone that looks up to her as much as I do when she's in heels. to see what's to come and wish you to a beautiful life filled with lots of laughter, growth together throughout this, these life stages, and I wish for your union to bless everyone in your corner of the world. Cheers, everyone. Cheers.